Hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I have her sidekick, Damien. And Thanks. today we're over here at Cap Rock at Ascension by Pulte Homes, taking a tour of a move-in ready floor plan, and this is in a great location of this community. Love the Peaks Village Ascension. It's going to be awesome. I've done. Let's wait for this car to go by. I've done numerous videos of this community. So this is the Pissarro floor plan and has 3,981 square feet with five bedrooms, four and a half baths and a four car garage. Look at this. The price is right now marked down at $1,999,656. That's as of now. The original price with all the upgrades was $2.149 million. Now, if you use me as your agent, I will be able to get you even a better deal. And plus, if you close now, this one's going to close by November of this year. If you close this year, you get an additional $25,000 in additional incentives. So that's why you need me. I have sold in this community. I know a lot about Ascension. So when you walk in, they did some very nice designer options. This is again a spec home, a move and ready inventory home. They did the 12 by 24 straight stack tile which is beautiful. We have clients that are gonna be doing this pattern. We talked them into doing this pattern. And the whole downstairs looks like, for the most part, has the tile flooring downstairs. So as you walk in, you have this flex space right here with the four recessed lighting and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan, which is always a nice option to have. The nice five inch baseboards then you have right here another, um, it's like an office, but it's actually a bedroom downstairs, even though, can you close the French doors? Yeah. Even though you have the French doors in it, it still could be a bedroom as well because it has the closet in here. And when a room has a closet and a window, it's considered a bedroom. It's a small closet, but it's a closet... Oh, wow, look how deep it goes. Um, and then they also have the Cat 6 outlet in here as well, which is a nice feature to have. This is lot 310, or 31, sorry, and the address is 5162 Slatestone Street. Let's take a peek in the garage. This is one of the garages. traditional two-car garage. The other garage has the other equipment. Okay. Then you have a nice half bath down here with a pedestal sink. Just a normal standard half bath. Nothing fancy. As well as a linen closet. So when you buy a spec home, it's kind of similar to what it would look like when you buy a home from Pulte and you build it from ground up, right? This has hundreds of thousands of dollars in um, upgrade options. So prime example, they went with the gas, no, this is an electric fireplace, right? Um, option with the 15 foot slider. And there's another slider on the other side, as well as the two tone cabinets, the shaker and the shaker white cabinets. This is the executive island. And the reason I know that, I do believe it's an executive island because you have the drawers on, or the cabinets on this side, right? Look at that. This comes with a nice built-in refrigerator. Let's take a peek. Beautiful. This is a signature. So this is the upgraded... Um, this is the 60 inch, right? I think 60 inch signature. This says the upgrade appliances. I really like how they put the microwave over here instead of being on top or above the stove. 
They also went with the beautiful quartz countertop tops. Again, the two-tone chocolate. I like that they mixed the metal handles. See, with the chocolate, they did the gold. Oh, okay. And then with the white, they did the black matte. Same pools. And are these soft close cabinets. Yep. So that's an upgraded feature that costs a lot. Can you open this drawer? Yeah, sure. Nope, they didn't do with the extra, but that's okay. And it does have, no, it doesn't have the trash can thing either. But it does have the large stainless steel single basin sink with the Moen faucet. And then they went with the backsplash all the way up with the quartz. Beautiful double signature oven. Nice. Oh, it's a, what, a six burner? Six burner. Look at this vent hood. So this is a Zephyr. Zephyr. Uh, you know who has Zephyrs? Ken and them have oh, the Zephyr wow. hood. Too. Yeah. And then they did the extended cabinets, which is very nice as well. Can you look in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Beautiful, huge kitchen. Then on this side of the kitchen is the other garage. You have like this nice... Um, mud room area you come in you can put some bench in there if you like there's also a little hall closet and a bedroom down here so this is nice it has two bedrooms downstairs it's a decent sized bedroom i like the extra recessed lighting that they have plus the pre-wire for a ceiling fan a decent sized walk-in closet as well as look at this bathroom Look at this tile. This is my favorite stacked tile. Looks like a blue or a black gray, right? Yeah. So they did a, like a gray creamy color and then they mixed the color and then they did the sides. I love the vertical stacks, very modern, very nice feature. And they went with the chocolate cabinets in this bathroom as well. And this is what's a upgraded cultured marble. Um, that Pulte uses in their homes. And also the nice upgraded flooring. You can't really see it in the video, but it's a, definitely an upgraded carpeting. So here is the other two car garage, which is interesting. Um, one, they have steps, and two, they also have this little extra storage area. Now, sometimes I do believe this extra storage area is if you wanted to expand something but they do have it pre-plumbed for a water softener and it is a nice tankless water heater as well. Great features to have. Let's see if there's an EV plug. There is no EV plug, but that would be probably easy to convert one of these outlets into an electrical vehicle. Then you have your main water shutoff line right there. Okay. I like this extra storage, yeah, plus the four is, cars. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Nice. I love this fireplace. Very nice feature. Then the stain is the same color. It looks a little darker. This is more of a darker chocolate. This is an upgraded feature to have these rails. I like that they did a lot of the recess lighting throughout. They went with extra recess lighting in here. All that extra recess lighting plus the three pendant pre-wires and a pre-wire for a chandelier down there. Yeah, let's go take a look at the backyard and then we'll go... Oh, I forgot about the pantry. Good. This large pantry. And these are the standard shelves by Pulte, which is very nice shelves. Look how large that pantry is. We'll take a peek at the backyard and then we'll head upstairs. Okay. So slide that all the way. Very nice. Another feature is they did a lot of extra recessed lighting and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Now this is, um, I think Mesa Drive right here. So you do have a road. Wow, this yard is huge. This is a big lot. Yeah, it's definitely a pool size lot. Now from here you can't see it, but once we go upstairs we'll show you. You have strip views. I like how tall this retaining wall is compared to where the sidewalk is. So that's also great as well. 
So, you know, I never have a problem being on a street. The street is kind of busy, but not that busy. Um, we live off of a busy street and you just like tune it out, right? Mm -hmm. But this is what the, the back of the house looks like. And you have a gate right here. That's good. That's a nice gate. Um, you do have a barbecue stub as well. A lot of people like having their barbecue stubs right there. And let's go look on this side with the... AC. You have two AC units and a water spigot. And another gate, which is great. Oh, on both sides. Yeah, that's a gate on both sides. Okay. Time to head upstairs. They put the carpeting upstairs and just to give you a pan. Okay, so when you come up, you have two bedrooms, no one bedroom. This looks like a linen closet as well as the laundry room which is nice that they have a sink and all the cabinet spaces. It would be a gas dryer. I like that it has all this cabinets. And this is a upgraded cultured marble that looks like quartz countertops. Then in the back you have your smart panel right here. This is the opposite of the model, so it gets confusing. So again, all the bedrooms that look like have the extra puck lights, as well as a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. This one has the nice walk-in closet. And then this bathroom looks sick. The nice cabinets, same as the kitchen, the same quartz, or the countertops, but I like what they did here. This is an upgraded feature to have this shower combination. Um, if you want the tub, it usually comes with the build, but when you do this, this is an added upgraded feature. And this time, instead of doing the tiles stacked vertically, which is the same tiles as downstairs, they did it horizontally with the same um, bottom tiles. So this is just as nice as it's stacked vertically. I like the bench and the nice black hardware throughout. And the black, beautiful. Can't go wrong with black matte. Alrighty. Then this one also has a nice loft. Decent sized loft with a lot of extra lighting, pre-wire for a ceiling fan, it has the Smurf tubing if you want to hang a TV right there, as well as the beautiful mountain views. Right back there is Mesa Ridge, all Toll Brothers homes. And it looks like another linen closet. Lots of storage in this place. Yep. We're gonna skip this bedroom for now. That's the primary. Then we go back here to two more bedrooms. You have this bedroom. They all seem like the same size bedrooms, maybe 14 by 14. And they, this one has a nice walk-in closet as well. Lots of space in here. Then you have um, this bedroom. This one may be a little bigger than the others. Again, all the extra lighting and pre-wire and a nice closet, walk-in closet. And this closet has a window, which a lot of people like to have to make it nice and bright. It was bright. It was bright, all right. And then the guest bathroom, which has the double vanity, the same um, cabinets, as well as the countertops, the same tile as downstairs. And they went with a different black and white type pattern with the, like a chevron, not a chevron. Yeah, chevron, I guess. Yeah, chevron pattern. 
with these are big 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 tiles. All right, let's go check out the primary. Primary is huge. And they did the tray ceiling, which is nice. The raised ceiling, again, all extra lighting in here. They have the Smurf tubing. And they have the little wet bar area with the bar sink and all you need is a refrigerator, mini fridge right here. This would be my workout room. Yeah, so let's go out to the patio from the primary. There is a nice covered patio with the strip views from here. Let me see if I can zoom in. And can you see it? A little. Here's the backyard. It's a good size yard. Okay. I like this patio. Then the primary. You have, you know, your throne room. And the reason I like this too is there's there's two separate walk-in closets. That way you have this one big one right here, as well as there's another one on the other side. The separate vanities. One has the makeup station area, the same cabinets and cultured marble throughout, and the same tile flooring as downstairs. I like this separate tub, right? And then oh, we'll look at that shower in a minute. Oh, this one's much smaller. No, yeah. oh no, this is not bad too. Oh, wow. I think I would choose this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's the primary shower. They did a nice little tile um, and it looks like they have the rain head as well as the shower head and bench. Very nice looking. All right, so let me know in the comments what you think of this move-in ready home. Uh, it will be ready, I mean, pretty much it looks ready now, but on the piece of paper I have, it'll be closing in November, which is just right around the corner. They have it listed at $1,999,656, originally at two one four nine zero one six. Um, but this is the Pissarro floor plan at 3,981 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and a four car garage. It is price reduced $150,000 savings. Now, if you use me, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, your favorite Summerlin realtor that knows these builders, I can even get you an additional savings on top of the other $25,000 that they're giving you. Now, as I say it in all my videos, if you're looking to buy a new construction home, now during this time, especially move-in ready homes, is the best time to buy where I can arm wrestle and get you a super duper phenomenal deal. And you know what? I've already sold in this community. So you need someone that knows the builder. But if you are thinking about buying this home or a new construction community in Summerlin, you can call me at... Call Angela at 702-370-5112. Most importantly, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and show us some love. Love and subscribe, folks. See you on the next one.